All right, welcome to the Connect Your iOS Device to Ableton Live tutorial. To get started, go to personal.stthomas.edu slash conl3781 and click the link to Ableton trial. This brings you to the Ableton Live page where you're able to download a free trial for 30 days of Ableton Live with just an email address. So install that and go back to the main page. Click the link to the Touch OSC website, which will bring you here, and you'll have a link that takes you to the App Store. And what you want to do is install Touch OSC on your iPad or iPhone. It's five dollars, but definitely worth it. Now, once you open that, open it up and click the I in the top corner, and it'll bring you to the Touch OSC menu page. From here, you want to click under Layout, the selection, and it'll bring you to this page, and then click Add at the top. From here, go back to your computer and go to the link to the Touch OSC Editor website. It'll be the same page, but just go down to the Downloads section and click on the Touch OSC Editor for Mac OS X. And I've installed it already, so I just hit Cancel and open it from my Downloads folder. Now, once you get that open, you now need the templates. So they're right next to the Touch OSC Editor link and download those. And again, save those to your downloads folder or anywhere. And go back to Touch OSC. Now from here, click Open and find where you saved those templates and click the Live Control iPad template and open. Now from here, the next thing you do is press the sync button at the top, and then so this communicates with the iPad, and it should come up there, and click the um, computer that comes up, and hit OK to anything that says, and then click the stop sync button on the computer. Now we're about halfway there. Next is you need to do is go back to the main page one more time, click the link to Live Control, and download Live Control. It's free and it's not a large file so it shouldn't take too long. Now once you do that, get save that to your applications folder and open it. And once that opens, you're able to see that it connects to the iPad and is ready to go. So from here there's one couple more things we need to do. Go to your system preferences and under network you want to click you'll be able to see your web address and then so match that up to the main page on the touch OSC interface where it says IP and uh, and match that to yours um, the port names just need to be different I like 5000 and 8000 and then if you did it right you should be able to see that live control comes up as a host underneath so once you've done that, you've connected your iPad to your computer, and the last thing we need to do is open up Ableton Live. And once that opens, you should see a little red box that surrounds the audio and MIDI tracks right here. And that shows that you have connected it successfully. Um, you're able to go to the main page on your iPad and see that it corresponds with what you see on your screen. Go to the uh, MIDI controls and select from the controller the Live Control TO option and make sure you don't have any inputs or outputs. But turn on all of the MIDI controllers underneath. So from there, Ableton has a couple live um, sample programs that you're able to play. Um, so just clicking the top one, we're able to see that once it opens, it will be able to update everything wirelessly to your iPad. And then so from here, Ableton works by just launching clips. So you, after doing that, you should be able to just go over, and uh, here are a couple more things on the iPad that you're able to do, a few more advanced options. And then once you're ready, you're able to just press any of the buttons to launch the link that you want. And then 
And so these are the master track keys that we're pressing on the side here. But you're also able to select individual clips from anywhere inside the interface. And that's about it. So play around with this. I hope this made this a little.